Okay, so today we're going to learn how to add color to black and white photos. This is one I did of my uh, grandparents. Took me a little while, but um, this is the sort of results you can expect. So let's get started. I'm going to try a easier picture to work with. So we'll try with Jessica Alba. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a new layer, and we'll call this layer background. Then we want to change the blending mode to color, and then select your paintbrush tool, and then pick a color for the background. Now don't be too concerned about what color you pick because um, we're going to fix them up to look better towards the end anyway. So we're just going to paint over the whole picture with actually probably quicker to use the paint blocker tool okay so fill the whole picture with the background color of purple so now I want to create a new layer change the blending mode to color this time we want to rename this layer to to top because we're gonna color her top so we'll just pick a light blue and just paint over that like so. Now don't be too concerned about not getting it exactly in the lines and stuff because we will fix that up later. Okay now I'm going to create a new layer again. This time we will rename this layer to skin. Okay and then just pick a light brownie type color for her skin and then once again just oops change the blending mode to color and then begin painting over her skin okay so once again don't be too concerned about touching the hair or the clothes or anything like that because we will or, or really if the color doesn't match exactly the way you want it because we can change that pretty easily at the end and so just try to do it you can take your time if you want but once again it doesn't really matter because at the end it's you'll see how easy it is to fix up all the corrections so just going like that. Okay. Now we want to create another layer. This time we will call that layer hair. And then you can select like a yellowy blonde color. Whoops. Can change the blending mode to color before you start painting and then we'll make it this yellowy blonde colorish once again don't be too concerned about getting it exactly perfect because you can always fix that up at the end pretty easily so I'm just gonna paint over here like so and on the other side so yeah don't really worry too much if the hair color is not natural looking because we fix that at the end same with the skin and the dress color and all that sort of stuff so we'll fix that up at the end to make it look more like a natural color not this highlighted weird stuff okay so we want to create another layer this time we'll call this layer lips and then we'll choose like a, a pink get in zoom in change the brush size down whoops change the blending mode to color and then just paint 
over her lips just like so okay then we want to create uh, another new layer change the blending mode to color this time we'll call this one eyes now just to really demonstrate I'm gonna choose a real blue color here and just gonna color her eyes in just like that now once again don't want be too concerned that it looks really fake because that will become more natural looking at the end now comes the natural looking part so we select each layer um, you can use the eraser tool but first we just want to change the hue and saturation of every single layer so we go into image adjustment hue saturation or you can press ctrl u and then tick colorize and then you can see that pulls in those colors there now you can change the colors of the eyes to whatever but I'm gonna stick with 240 to make it blue and then we do the same with the lips control U to saturation then hit colorize and now we change the color of the lips to more natural looking then hit OK then go into hair same thing control U to colorize and then change it to a natural looking color now you might need to turn up the saturation just to get that color now is this right about here okay skin same thing control u colorize now you just got to find that natural skin color and can adjust the saturation a bit and then hit OK when you're happy with it same thing with the top, control U colorize now you can change to whatever color top thinks fit in so I'm gonna leave it with the blue hit OK in the background same thing, control U, colorize and then pick background that you think suits the picture so I'm going to pick like a purpley place the saturation a bit hit OK okay so that's basically it now of course if you spend a little bit more time on uh, just in a human saturation you'll get a better looking picture and of course you can see here I've missed a few spots it's just because I was rushing but you can certainly use the eraser tool and the paintbrush tool to get that sort of better looking okay thanks for watching